All right, so in this video, I want to show you how you can use a free program called Inkscape to convert a simple image um, into a scalable vector graphic or an SVG file. And SVG files can be imported directly into Carbide Create, so you can use your Shapoka machine to cut it out. So these have to be rather basic images. Uh, it's not going to be like a picture of your face or something. But if you want something that just has a basic outline, uh, you can pretty easily convert that to an SVG file. So I live in Minnesota, so let's look for a picture of the state of Minnesota. So you want something that has really good contour, like well-defined outline. So this one looks good. Um, I'm going to copy this image. Let's go over to Inkscape. So Inkscape is a free, I think, open source piece of software for drawing, kind of like Adobe Photoshop or something like that. Uh, it's free for Windows and Mac. I think it works better on Windows myself, but here we are on a Mac, so it doesn't matter. So we can now uh, paste our image here. So here we have it. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. There we go. So once we have it into Inkscape, um, I don't really know a ton about this program, but tracing it is pretty easy. We just go up to this path item or menu and we say trace bitmap. And once here, we want to just make sure that edge detection is selected. And as long as that's selected, I haven't had to mess with any of these other settings. All you do is hit OK. So it doesn't really look like it did anything here. But now if we close this, we go over to this uh, path selection tool, we'll see all these little dots. So what it's done is it, is it has highlighted, or it has traced this for us. So now I can go up here and I can say File, uh, Save As. And so I'll just save it here as uh, state of mn.svg. And notice it's saving it as an SVG file, so I'll say Save. All right, so now we can go into Carbide Create we can import or open that SVG we just saved. So if I say open, I think I can also use import there, but I saved it into my user, so I'll say user and I'll say open. And so what we have here is the imported SVG, and it looks like a normal shape that I can modify, uh, like a normal shape in Carbide Create. The one thing you'll notice is um, there are two outlines, and this happens sometimes when you use that tool to trace it. Um, I don't want to because I'm just going to be doing a contour cut, so I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to pick one, and I'm going to say function delete to delete, so I'm going to clean that up. So I want to cut this. I've got some scrap wood in the garage from a previous project, uh, some cedar. It's the piece I'm working with. It's about 10 inches wide. I think it's about 3.25 inches tall. And it's about a half inch thick. Uh, my zero, I'll have to start on the lower left. Softwood, it's cedar. I have an XL inches, that's fine. So I'll say okay. So now we have to scale this guy down. I'm a half, still too big. So let's do 0 0.8. And we'll do another 0 0.8. Ah. Okay, that looks good. So I can put that here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some text as well. And I'm just going to say, and then, and I want some Arial regular. Perfect. Okay. So I'm going to put that here. And let's make this about 2.5 inches tall. That looks pretty good. Let's make it just a little bigger. Okay. So here you have it. Uh, I'm going to make... Well, that's fine. Because I'm going to have some clamps here on the side that are going to hold this down. So I think what I'm actually going to do is more justify this in the middle. And I can uh, align them by using the alignment tools. Here we go. That should vertically align them. Move this guy over a little bit. 
I'm going to do that alignment again so you can see that it's actually adjusting them. Okay, so now we're vertically aligned, and I think if I change this to align to stock, I can do that as well. Okay, great. So that should be pretty much in the center of the board there. So the next thing we want to do is just define our toolpath. So I'm going to make uh, two. I probably don't have to. I could probably do this one. I'm going to use this 0 0.125 and end bit. Uh, you need kind of a smaller one to get into some of these crevices here. So we'll use that one. Uh, start depth, top. Now, I don't want to go all the way in. So what I'm going to define here uh, is a depth of about, uh, well, let's look and see what our plunge rate, or depth per pass here. So this is something I like to do is keep an eye on, you know, how far I want to cut versus what that bit can do per pass. So since this can do 0 0.035, Let's just make this 0 0.07 so that we're only doing two passes. Because really, we just want to outline it. We're not cutting all the way through. Uh, and if you would have made this one, then the machine has to do, you know, to get to that number, we have to do three passes. So we'll just do it 0 0.07. I'll call this toolpath state. And we'll say OK. And then for the letters, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a contour toolpath outside. Call this letters, same bit, and then for the depth, we want to do the same thing. So this is pretty straightforward. We'll look at the simulation, and that's what we're going to end up with. So we'll hide this, and all we have to do now is just save the G code off, and then we will run it in Carbide Motion. Right, so then we just load it into carbide motion and let the machine do the work. Now, keep in mind that based on where you zero the machine, it's sort of relative to where you start cutting. So this won't end up perfectly in the middle of the board, but I'm going to later just trim it out, cut it out with my saw, and, and make it centered. So I end up with something like this. I think this is a great project to get started with, so you're not cutting all the way through. You've got plenty of space on either side to hold down the stock that you're cutting with, so it's a pretty safe operation. And hopefully you found this useful. Thanks.